Hey guys, dang, I really wish I could wear my glasses on camera, but this lighting, look at that. If I was <laughs> ridiculous. Hey guys, this is Amber with the loveyout.com. And in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about how I became a manifesting magnet. Like I said, I really don't have trouble manifesting. And if I do, it's because I'm getting in my own way. Like most of us, to be honest, if you are having trouble manifesting something, we're in our own way or it just hasn't came yet. Yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I can pretty much manifest anything that I want and how you can too. I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying, talking about the gist of how I got started with the law of attraction and stuff. So, if you're new to your first video, saying of mine or you just haven't downloaded it yet you can download my law of attraction blueprint for manifesting understanding it how to use it how to elevate your life it's going to be linked in my description box below you can go ahead and cop that it's going to be sent directly to your email now like i say make sure your email is correct because there's no way for me to get in contact with you if i have the wrong email and sometimes depending on what email like thing you have maybe it's gmail yahoo aol maybe it's a school email work email depends on the filter so it may end up in your spam box or it may got kicked out if any weird reason why you don't receive it from send out is not coming from the love gap it's coming from send out but anyway um i got started with the law of attraction it was maybe four or five years ago um, i had a friend she was a very spiritual being she still is um and my sister it was a combination of both my sister she was getting into the law of attraction before me around that time you know what i'm saying i'm still going through my reckless phase like y'all don't really know me but if you know me i had a whole reckless phase where i was out you know running from the police <laughs> doing things I have not been you know what I'm saying not supposed to be doing and all of that stuff so around that time um, I started to calm down a little bit but not all the way and my older sister you know what I'm saying she's like a second mother to me she was like you need to read this book and I'm like yeah all right I'm gonna get to it and she kept saying it read this book read this book read this book it's called the secret if you are any kind of bit invested in law of attraction you know about the book the secret or you've seen the, uh, the movie i believe it's on netflix it may not be on netflix but when i watched it it was on netflix so i was like okay and when i did start reading it i was like yo a lot of this you know it made sense it does and i was watching the documentary on it and i said it will explain a whole lot especially if you're in tune with energy you're in tune with spirituality you're in tune with god you're in tune with a whole lot of things beyond things we can see you know the law of attraction is real like you know it it doesn't matter who you pray to you can pray to god you can pray to jesus you can allah you can pray to buddha you have spiritual guides you could pray just the universe in general it's a lot going on that we cannot see but when we ask or we pray for something and then it comes it's basically manifesting i feel like i'm not going to get too far into religion but a lot of things are similar a lot of people in my comments they quote quotes from the bible because it's basically saying the same thing um but yeah i got into it about four or five years ago because i'm 28 so 23 24 25 one around that age i was getting into it when i started reading about the secret and then shortly after i started seeing repeated numbers it started out my first number i always saw was 111 and it always had to do with the clock 111 or 1111 11. now matter of fact i'm gonna switch that because 1111 11, i've been saying that since like a kid and you know when we we're kids they always say oh 11 11 make a wish well angel number meaning of 11 11 is basically keep your thoughts positive what you are thinking about is manifesting in real time so 11 11 making a wish the real meaning of it, it it goes hand in hand so i was seeing that since i was a kid then i started seeing 111 and then i started seeing like 333 and then it was 222 and then it was 444 and then 555 i haven't really seen much of 666 but you know with the bible 666 i mean it's the devil from what i understand i'm not gonna sit here and act like i've read the whole bible because i have not um but when people see that repeated number they're like oh but um there is an angel number meaning to that number as well so don't just freak out every single time you see it your angels around you could be trying to tell you something and then i started seeing I say the past year and a half, I started seeing 777. In the past six months, I've been started seeing 888. 888 is abundance, it's on the way, like big time. So when I started seeing that, I said, after I started reading the book, I don't know if I woke up a little bit, 
woke up a little bit. And that's when, basically when you start seeing these repeated numbers, your spirit guides, spirit angels around you trying to tell you messages. So that's why I said, I don't know if I woke up a little bit because this that's when I started like really seeing these repeated numbers. And then I really, once I really like really dug into the law of attraction and really started like researching it and practicing it, I was like, okay, I really, I'm really starting to get good at this. So when it comes to how did I become so good at it, I learned how to focus my energy. I learned how to focus my thoughts. I learned to become aware of what I'm thinking. Like I said in my other videos, I'm not gonna sit here and act like everything in my life is just positive. I get stuff thrown at me too. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. When things are thrown at me, sometimes it does mess with my energy. And I have to spend from that moment trying to correct my energy so I don't keep attracting negative things. Just the latest, um, for the past month, I've been <laughs> It's been a trying time. Um, I did not personally know Nipsey Hussle. I didn't, I never met him, but I was a big fan of his. Like, you know, I would watch his videos over and over, I would interviews, like I would play his music, like, you know what I'm saying? Follow him on Instagram. It was just, he was a, a person who was vibrating on a higher level. And, but he also come from the same streets that I come from. Well, I'm from LA, he's from LA. Like, he's from Slauson and Crenshaw. I'm from Manchester and Prairie. Like, we be at the same barbecue spots. I just never met him, you know what I'm saying? He was like the LA neighborhood hero. Uh, because he made it out being himself. He didn't stop at being a rapper. Um, he was an investor, he was an entrepreneur, but he stayed himself and I love that about him. So when he passed away in the way that he did, I was, truly affected by it. I usually do not cry when it comes when celebrities pass away. I don't, I guess because I don't really have feel a connection towards them, but when he passed out, I, I remember being in the car with my sister, we were on our way somewhere and I had been holding it in like, and then in the car just broke down and started crying. Like it was like burst out into tears. Like I'm still seeing things on the news about him, still seeing articles in my news feed on Instagram. So that affected me. Um, and I was like, it took me probably three weeks to really start feeling better, you feel me? So that affected my energy. I, I became aware of why I was feeling the way I was feeling and trying to correct it as much as possible. So when things do happen to you, you have to become aware of it and don't just try to bury it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I don't try to bury it. I think about why I'm feeling that way and how I could possibly correct it. I do give myself pep talks. This happened, but it's not going to impact my life, my whole life. That I tried to, when it comes to becoming a magnet, I, I try to keep my thoughts as positive as possible. I don't just dwell on negative things. I try not to, I really try not to. Like I, if something happens to me, I'm fighting it. Like I'm like, I gotta shake this. Like I'm really trying to shake it because what your energy is, is what situations are coming to you. That is something that is important. You have to become aware of what you're feeling and get out of that emotion if it's not positive, you feel me? And then I use visualizations. I talk out loud. I, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm aware angels are around me like all the time. So, you know, I say stuff out loud. Like I have conversations out loud, conversations I want to manifest or things that I want to come. I say it out loud, I write it down. And then from there, I just focus on things and thoughts that make me happy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe hanging out with my family, my little nieces, my sisters, my friends, FaceTiming with my best friend, like, you know what I'm saying? Watching shows that I love. Fun fact, I love the show Mom. Um, I don't know what channel come on, but I uh, haven't recorded like the whole season. I love that show. You know, I'm making sure I'm not falling into a trap of listening to negative things, watching negative things. So when it comes to me trying to manifest things, I'm always in a positive state. Now, the fastest way to manifest anything is being in a positive state. I've said this plenty of times before, but you are gonna manifest things faster when you are in a better mood. Um, if you are trying to manifest things from a negative standpoint, all you're gonna do is attract more negativity. Say you're praying for more money, you're praying for this, praying for something, for a boyfriend or a girlfriend to come back, but the emotions you have around that is negative, you're pushing your desire further away from you. Like I said, get to a higher vibrating point and then set your intentions. Like I say, think of a memory, do whatever it takes to get it genuinely happy, like you're genuinely smiling, like for real smiling, and then switch to visualizing. Visualizing is so much fun because it's like a little movie in my head. Uh, 
<laughs> it is. Visualizing the outcome of what you want. Don't worry about how it's gonna get there. Just visualize and say if you're trying to visualize $500. Visualize you holding and counting out that $500. Visualize you holding the one you love and you have them back. Don't worry about the, the part. The universe is gonna work everything out for you. You just have to focus on the end result. Visualizing the end result. Yeah, just keeping your vibrations as high as possible is how you become a manifesting man. Um, but like I said, I'm amberwiththelovegout.com. You can go ahead and download my manifesting blueprint. It gives you the six steps. It goes over the frequency chart, your limited beliefs. It, it, check it out. It has a, a list of things that will go over. Um, I give you like 80 plus life gems. I give you affirmations. But anyway, anyway, I am out.